This is Danielle from 90 Day Fiance, and you are watching the Dominant Natty Show. Are you dating anyone right now? No, I'm not dating no one right now. No one? Okay. No one. What is your current... Are you, are you DMing with anyone? No. <laughs> no. Are you just wanting to be single? Right now, I'm just single. Okay. I haven't found the one that interests me yet. No. Are you getting hit up a lot in the DMs? Oh, yes. A lot. <laughs> and a lot of them are from overseas. So, okay. So when you go on the show, then a lot of, you get all these international guys that hit you up and they're like, yeah. what are they? Do they go right to marriage? Oh, yeah. A lot of them ask for, say they want to marry me. This, they say they love me. And all kinds of stuff out there. <laughs> okay. Now, are, none of them interest you? No. No. <laughs> I'm okay. not interested in doing another visa process right now. No. Okay. <laughs> so are you are you mostly interested? If you when you get interested, would it mostly be American men? More than likely, yeah. 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 You don't yeah. You don't want to go through this again. No. I gotcha. Now, what about Muhammad? Do you talk to him at all? I have talked to him. Um we started re we started talking back in February, and we talk once or twice a week, just checking in to see how each other are. Just checking in. Yeah. But do you have a little interest in him? No. No. <laughs> That's done it over with. Been there, done that. <laughs> okay. So they're just nice, yeah. like, texts just checking yeah. in. Yep. Now, if, let's say Muhammad said that he would like to get back together, would you ever consider it? No. No. Nope. Never again. No. Never again. <laughs> okay. How was the sex with Muhammad? Was it good? <laughs> it was okay. It was okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to trash him. <laughs> so you've had better. Yeah. Okay. So it was, it was okay. You don't want to trash him, but you've had yeah. better. Yeah. You're so fun already. Okay. <laughs> so I think that you already addressed this, but what is this article that came out a few weeks ago with Soap Dirt released an article saying that you... Uh, wow. hooked up Laura with the sugar daddy from Ecuador that you had the hots for. Is that true? Are you are you hooking up your friends with sugar daddies from Ecuador? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was friends with the person first. Okay. Okay. And Laura, yeah, it, it turned ugly fast. <laughs> can you can you tell? So you're friends with this guy from Ecuador, and he's, he's willing. Not Ecuador, he's from the U.S. Okay, there's, but he is a, he's a pretty much a sugar daddy. He's willing to to spend he's, money on he's women. He's not a sugar daddy. He's just well, he's well off, but he likes to help people because he grew up in poverty, and now he's well off, and he helps all of his friends. All his female friends, mostly? No, he helps male friends. He just like gives them money, and then you. Does Laura need money? Is that why you helped her? Yes, Laura needed money. D do you, did he give her money? Do you know? I know of twice he gave her money. So this guy, Laura needed some money. You know this guy yes. that lives in the U.S. that has money that helps people out. So you just said, "Hey, Laura, if you need some money, here's a friend of mine." He just does he give get anything in return? No, he don't get anything in return. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> He's just give, giving out money. So have you ever taken money from him? Yes, he has helped me in the past. Now, is there any qualification? Like, is it just, you could just go in and be like, hey, I need some money, and he just gives it to you? Or do you have to be Danielle's friend? You have to be his friend, and you have to have a good reason why you need the money. <laughs> okay. What do you know what Laura needed the money for? Rent and groceries. Really? Yeah. And then is that pretty much what you needed the, the money for too? Just just Um, he he has helped me in the past with some bills and he bought me a car when Mohammed first left. Bought you a car? Yeah. It was it was a used car. It was a used car. It was oh. hard to get me from point A to point B. What kind of car was it? It was a Hyundai Civic. 
a Honda Civic, like, how many years old was it? It was like a 2000. Oh, and that was, yeah. and what year was that, like 2015, or was it, was it 10 we years old? We got older? it in 2016. So you got you in a car that's 16 years old, but it's a Honda, and it works. And you're just yeah. like, hey, I need a car, and he drops a yeah. couple grand. Yeah, yeah. What a great friend, huh? Yes. Danielle, it's great you, you found one of those. Yeah. And you don't even... <laughs> You don't even have to do anything. No sexual acts or sexting or nothing. Just, no. just hey, no. give me a give me a used car. That's yep. awesome. So that's that's actually, and I know we're we're having fun, but in, in all reality, and we talk about this sometimes when I go live, like it's difficult for you. Like, so you, you don't get paid a ton of money no. for being on this show, and people no. think that oh, you're on TV, Danielle, you're you're super rich. You get like what a couple? I mean, how much money do you get from an episode or a season? I can't just. Dis- Close that, but it's—I would say it's close to around ten thousand if you are in all the episodes for the season. You get ten thousand total. Yeah. And and you and for like a but thousand. But you have bu- to be in every episode, you know. Wow! So you get like a thousand bucks an episode. Yeah. They don't give it to you every every week. They give it to you at the end of the season, right? When I first started, um. We got, when I first started in 2014, we got half of it up front and half at the end of the season. And okay. they hold it so if you break your NDA, you don't get rest of your money. That's what, yeah. And that's what I've been telling people because I, I know that we had a couple people that we had lined up and then they were like, uh, I don't think I can do it. So, because they're, they're holding like five grand. And so it's not worth losing five grand to do yeah. an interview. So you yeah. break your if you break your NDA, and that that NDA does that um, does that last what three months after? It's nine, nine months after nine the months. last episode. Nine months, yeah. So basically, and most more likely they resign you after that for like specials, so you really can't go talk it off. I have done it long enough. I know what to not talk about. So they don't pay you till nine months after. Yeah. Oh my god! So they give you five grand up front, and then they just yeah. hold the. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, what are you? And the guys too, for for you know, in their defense, like, what are you going to do? Go wait tables or something? You know what I mean? Like, you can't be seen See, because everyone. I I still have my job. I've always had a job. Even doing the show, I've always kept my job. I've never quit my job. I've always kept it. Because you can't live on not knowing if you're going to be filming again. Like, do the foreigners get paid differently? Or is it all the same? Do you when, know they anything? Come, when the foreigners in the U.S., the foreigner doesn't get paid until after they get the work permit. Okay. So, like, Rose, for example, right? So, I mean, Rose, like, she, when, is, when and how is she going to get paid for what she, I understand if they film in another country, they, the foreigner can get paid. But when they're filming in the U.S., only the U.S. citizen gets paid unless they have the work permit. So are you saying that they don't get paid at all? No. When Did Muhammad you... first got here, I was the one that got paid until after he got his work permit and had his social security number. Then he started getting paid. Wow. So the so... first reason... I'm the one got Really? So yeah. essentially, they're doing this show. The foreigners are doing this show for no money. They're yeah. just, they're but, really. But see, I shared the money with Muhammad because we were living <laughs> together. So. Okay. In the that's... U.S., when they come to the U.S., they're not allowed to work until after they do the adjustment of status and get the work permit. Wow. That's why that is here. But when they go overseas to film, like for the other shows, like before the 90 days and the other way, they get paid because they're in their country and they're able to work. Someone told me that you were like the original romance scam, right? <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that true? Because you know I'm new to watching the show. I am from season two. And when we did season two, that's when the show really took off. And a lot of people say it's because of my Muhammad story. It took off. Like who got scammed this last season? I think David. I think yeah. David did. Oh. And Yolanda. David and Yolanda, yeah. But they're saying Yolanda was, the whole thing was, was just 
just to promote her book. I mean, there was Yolanda's story from the beginning. The, the simple fact that the guy did not um, FaceTime her, that was a big red flag. What do you think about David or uh, Usman and Lisa? Do you think there's any scamming going on there? I don't think there's any scamming going on. I just think they both need to work out their issues. I mean, because he's a singer, and he's going to have a following no matter what. And she's going to have to learn to accept it and deal with it in order to make it work. Because he's going to have a following as long as he's in the music. Right. And then oh, okay. she needs to learn not to tell a lot of people off her business. So, so Lisa's saying too much. Is that? Yeah. Do you think that TLC is hiring actors? necessarily hiring actors I think because I know the process that I went through I had to submit an email telling about our story and gave pictures and stuff like that you do like four or five Skype interviews and then they choose which couples and I just think they're picking some couples that do have a following from other things that they're doing right okay so they're not, like, the show, essentially, from your opinion, the show is not fake. No. No. But they, they do, you know, the producers do push you in a certain direction to get, yeah. the, like, what they want. So they don't ask, they don't stage things and say, hey, Danielle, say this, you know. No, but, no. But if, yeah. The producer will ask a question to lead the conversation, and wherever the conversation goes, that's where it goes. But you do think... Yeah, Yolanda, uh, and yeah, David was, it was yeah. just the scam. There's, there's no way if I was David, I'd throw away that kind of money on a woman that you only talk to on a nap. So if you had to choose one guy to date from the last cast, because it doesn't look like it worked out with any of them, from the last cast of Before the 90 Days, which guy would you choose? Um, that would be a toss-up between Tom and Ash. Oh, you like Tom? Yes, Tom's an okay guy. <laughs> yeah, okay, a toss-up between Ed, Tom. Ed, I do not care for him because of the simple fact he embarrassed Rose on national TV. He yeah. could have handled those situations better. He could not have brought up about her breath stinking or shaving her legs in front of the camera. That's yeah. Just, yeah, that's all yeah. I'm calling for. That's where he lost. That's where he lost everybody. Oh, now, have you have you talked to Tom or Ash? Have you had a conversation? No, no, I haven't talked to neither one of them. What if this is it? I mean, <laughs> we could we could use this. We could this could be the the start of the relationship. <laughs> Tom or Ash. So there's not a little bit more for one or the other. No. Equally. <laughs> I mean, like, Tom has called Darcy fat, and that's not okay. I'm fat. And I'm fat. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we stick together. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. And then Ash, he said he was single when he was talking to Avery, so like, it's like. <laughs> yeah. Would you ever consider doing an OnlyFans account? No. No? No, not even a little bit. No, no. It's a good way to make money. You can I buy know your. It is, you, but... you, can, you can buy your own Honda Civic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just take your shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and have, have people asked you like, does that come up like where they they said they'd pay for you to do things like that, stuff that would be on no, OnlyFans? No, I I do my cameo, so I get money from that. And... Right. People, they have met up with me, and they usually pay for dinner or something when I meet up with them. Because where I live, it's a tourist area, and because we have a big amusement park here and a lot of water parks. So yeah. A lot of people come to the area, and they always ask me to meet up with them. So then when fans say, hey, I'm, I'm in the Sandusky area, they'll take you to dinner? Dinner or lunch. And you're like, yeah, and then they'll pay for your dinner and lunch. Yeah. Now, are these just, like, how are these fans or are these guys that are like, hey, can I take you to dinner? It, it's fans. <laughs> it's fans. So it's just fans saying, and you'll do it, really? To just say, yeah. yeah, I'll go to lunch with you. Yeah. I mean, what if they're crazy people? Because I'm not trying to that's, be mean to that people. That is why I needed a 
Because they're nuts. Danielle, I'm new to this fan base. They're crazy as hell. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're committed. They're very, you know, but some of them are a little, you know, some of these, yeah. Some of them go overboard. Some of them, they will look up court records. They will look up addresses. They will contact family members. Yeah, I've seen it all. They contact your family? Yes, in the very <laughs> beginning, I had people contact family members. And what did they say? I like your, your well, sister or whatever. find out information about me <laughs> so they can post. So they could post. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, how? Let me, let me just have one more question. Like, has it? Give me one awkward encounter. Like, because you're—that's a big risk. Like, I'm nobody, and I don't think I would do that. So it's like you're gonna go to lunch with a fan. I mean, I've what is, never had any awkward encounters meeting someone at a restaurant because they're usually civil and on their best behavior. Now, I've been to the grocery store. Oh, I know the awkward one. Okay. <laughs> I was at Cedar Point one time. Yeah. I was in the restroom. Someone waited outside my restroom stall for me to come out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> they recognized me. <laughs> so you were in there doing your business. You open up the stall door and they're right there. Yes. And what do they want? Like, a, did they just want a conversation or a picture in the yeah, bathroom? They just or? wanted a conversation and a photo. <laughs> did you take the picture in the bathroom? No, I did not. Take yeah. the bathroom. <laughs> Were you going number one or number two? No, I'm I don't remember. <laughs> do you get a lot of hate in your messages? And have you ever gotten any death threats? I've never gotten any death threats, but I do get a lot of hate. And the first season, I ended up going to counseling over the negativity and the hate. Really? Yes. Have you, have you revealed that? Is, is it like, have you ever mentioned that? Yes, I've revealed it a couple of times that I went to counseling. Because yeah. you have no one to navigate you on what's going to happen once you appear right. on TV. Yeah. And I just couldn't take it no more because. You read so much of the negativity and the hate, it starts getting to your self-esteem. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you smoke? You smoke cigars? No. 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 I smoke this and meth, and that's it. So that's <laughs> it. Just, just. So what about Pillow Talk? Like, you were on Pillow Talk for, like, a few episodes, and then you disappeared. Yeah. One episode? Yeah, one episode. One episode, and then you disappeared. What happened with that? Um, it was, it had to do with, because they were behind on filming Pillow Talk, and then there was logistics with cast and all that, so it, it just depends on who, who can film and who can't film, and how far they're behind on who gets to be on Pillow Talk. But were you expecting, I mean, were they like, hey, you're on Pillow Talk for the season, and they just... Took you off? I mean, it was we so were quick. supposed to be on a couple episodes, and then it just, things happened, and then they didn't film us no more. Okay. I mean, but do you, like, do you want to be on the show again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why <some> quarantine. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. So, um, but you would, if they said, hey, okay, Danielle, we want you to be on Pillow Talk, you know, uh, it, you, you want to do it, it's just, it was just yeah. a filming thing. So, so yeah. we might see you on it. In the yeah. future, yeah. Okay, so are you? Do you have plans to be on another ninety day fiance show, like in the future? I can't say. Good say. Okay. Now, of the whole franchise, which ninety day fiance cast member is your least favorite? Ed. Ever on the show? Yes. You Ed. you have that much hatred for him. Yes, Ed. <laughs> and you. you you just because of what he said to Rose, or is it also what he said? Because I've been in that position that Rose has been being embarrassed by the guy on TV for saying bad stuff, and it's hard to live down once they cross that line. Yeah, because uh, I still get bothered about the things that um, <laughs> Muhammad said about me on the tell all. Oh, really? And and yeah, what? How many? Bring how, it up. You'll bring it up to him on the phone? No, I mean, Ugh. fans will still bring it up oh, fans will bring it up in messages. Are you allowed to be on other reality shows or no? No, because I'm still under contract. 
So you're stuck. I mean, really, you know, because I I've been kind of exposing some things about how this goes for you guys because it's yeah. it's yeah it's not it's not really cool. But you when you sign up and you get in this, you are kind of stuck. You're stuck in this franchise. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just go out and do Dancing with the Stars or whatever. No. You know, no, no, not without their permission. Wow. And then, like, do they ever give permission to do anything? I had permission two weeks ago to do an interview with the New York Post. But they okay. were, TLC was on the other line, too, so. <laughs> so what, about the, <laughs> what about the Dominic Natty show? Do they give permission to do that? No, because we kept it a secret. <laughs> but there's nobody that you've met that you're like, you know what, this guy, I think he'd be the, the one. No. Nope. <laughs> no. Is it difficult? Nope. Is it difficult to, it to meet difficult people? It is difficult because you have to figure out who's who wants to get to know you for the right reasons. Because you got people that, like I get people that want a green card. <laughs> you know they want a green card because the first thing right off their, out of their mouths is they want to marry me. <laughs> and they don't even know me. <laughs> that's, not, <laughs> that's not very and good then, game. And then you got ones, they just want to be get to know you so they think they can try to be on TV with you. Well, the one season that I did, What Now? I was supposed to meet up with a guy in Maryland and he w he kept bugging me to come to my hotel room at two o'clock in the morning. I told him no, because this was only my second time meeting him. And I told him no, he wasn't coming. He'd have to wait until we met up for the date. Well, he got mad because I wouldn't meet, let him come to my hotel room. So he decided not to film. But then I was trying to get him to film and he kept saying he wanted money to film. So after that, I was like, oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the night before, he wanted you. Yeah. And then, yeah, he wanted to have sex with you at the hotel. And then you're like, no. And then he was like, well, you can film. And then he was like, well, then I need money for that. Yeah. But he wanted to smash the night before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I was not having no one come to my hotel room on the second time meeting them. Okay. And I had, I had been up, like, at 6 a.m. that the, the day before, and I drove six hours. So I was like. No, I'm going to bed when I get there. <laughs> so Danielle does not like the nail and bail. That's not your thing. No. Nope. Thank you so much for doing this You're for welcome. me. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it.